How's it going everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be covering how to deploy your app on the interwebs for free. And we're going to be using a service called Netlify, and all you're going to need is a GitHub account and a repo that's up to date and that you want to create a website for. So this is what I did right here. This is what we're going to be doing. I basically took all of my previous tutorials, put them all in one application, and just threw it up on the internet. It's called lepp.netlify.app, and it's all my previous tutorials, pricing, you have the animate on scroll, you have the dynamic cards, and you have the thickness scale um, chart. Cool, so let's get into it. So there's a link in the description below that'll take you to this website called Netlify, and if you don't have an account, you can just click sign up right here, and it'll ask you if you want to sign up with either GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or your email. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign up with my GitHub account. Alright, so if this is your first time ever logging into Netlify, you're not going to see any projects inside of your dashboard. What you can do is you can just drag and drop your folder right in here, or you can use Git, and uh, since this tutorial is going to cover Git, just go ahead and click this button right here. And you can click GitHub, and it'll authorize. So once it's done authorizing, go ahead and find your repo that you want to use. And I'm going to use this repo called Dynamic Cards React Bootstrap, which is just the exact clone of this right here. Cool, so now you should be taken to this section. It says create a new site. And if you have a different type of branch that you want to deploy and that's not master, you can just go ahead and click this and select your branch. But I'm just going to go ahead and deploy my master branch. And you're going to be also seeing this basic build settings section. If your build command is different than what you what is written here, if it's npm start, um, it should be fine. You can always test it out if it's um, npm run if npm run build even works in your application. Um, just go ahead and leave your published directory as is. And if you scroll down a little bit, don't worry about advanced build settings. And you can just go ahead and click deploy site. And it takes a little bit of time to deploy your site. So let's go ahead and go we'll grab some water or a soup or two. And uh, I'll be right back once it's done. So I went and grabbed some water, grabbed a soup or two, and now it's done. And the uh, the site is up. And your URL should look something like this. You can go ahead and click it and you'll see your application right here. Or something like this. And uh, you can still go ahead and... Uh, go through the individual URLs and everything. Cool. Um, if you want to change the name of this right here, because this makes no sense, like no one would ever want to go to Objective Stonebreaker 7D, yada yada yada, you can just go ahead and click Domain Settings, and scroll down a little bit, you'll see this Options tab, and click Edit Site Name. And uh, I'm going to just call it Le Big PP. Okay, there we go. And save that. And now our application is now hosted on libigpp.netlify.app. And it still works, everything works. Cool, so I know this is a very quick and very surface level tutorial, but I hope it helps you out learn how to deploy your app on Netlify. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.